Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Burrito's Revenge. <laughs> In today's episode, I will fight the wither. Needless to say, death is a constant companion as the perpetual mood strikes it over and over and over again. The first order of business, wither skulls. I got the perfect idea for that right here as we build a wither skull farm. And welcome back guys, I'm here just uh, getting some XP from dying so much. Yeah, I died so much just building a wither skull farm and I haven't even gotten skulls yet. What a noob. The perpetual noob strikes again. Anyways, so now that we got this built, after I built it twice because, you know, I built it wrong. I built it too short and then I had to raise it up one block. It, uh, it, it's, I, the perpetual noob. You, it, it, there's, I do so many newbie things. It is ridiculous. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's uh get some skulls and let's fight this wither already. Cause I'm anxious to get on the way. This guy I heard is really hard. He's the most difficult boss in all of Minecraft, even more so than the Ender Dragon. So if I can beat him, I can definitely beat the Ender Dragon. So let's get to it and let's get going with some wither skulls. Cue the music. Alright, so I've got all my preparations done. I've got a uh, couple snow golems here to, you uh, know, his backup to help me out with this guy. Um, you know, I read this some research and I saw that it was uh, keep a couple snow golems that'll attack him and kind of use them as decoys. But as you see, he's going straight up here and he's not gonna <laughs> really pay much mind to these guys that are in the tunnel. So I'm trying to stay away a little bit and keep my range from these, this guy. So. That way, not take too much damage. You know, I've got my apples I'm eating here. Um, I had a couple of poison tip bowls there, with, uh, but you know, they were had like this stack damage two bowls or something like that. But I brought four and I had an infinity bow, but apparently I ran out. I, I, I don't know how that one worked out for me. So I was trying to like just stay clear of the lava. I'm fighting freaking lava. There's a uh, spider spawn, cave spider spawner up there from the uh, the abandoned mine shaft here. So he's, as he see, 
he blew me up. I grabbed my stuff for quick because one of the inches of me sleeping there. I had a little base right to the side of it. But he's drilling straight up. He's going up, trying to get out of the caverns, you know. You saw the abandoned mine shaft there for a second. And I, I think, is I losing me? At one point, I lose him. <laughs> and I have to find him. And it took me a while to find him again. And I, I end up coming back and finding him above ground at one point. But yeah, he, he's just drilling straight up and blocks me in there pretty much. did forget though was to bring a uh, a potion of night vision that would have helped out greatly because he starts blowing stuff up you can see exactly where he's at and what's going around you Make, having it dark was kind of hard to see what exactly what's going on here alright so write that again Uh, we just came back here and um, there you go. Yeah, we find him up there. He's on hey, the flag on top of here. <laughs> he's uh, he's, he found his way above ground. I don't know exactly how he got up here. I never did find his hole, but yeah, he made it back to the ground. So he starts killing me up here a little bit. Right, who's the farmer with it? Good news, the farmer with it. save my range tax. They seem to be working pretty well. Because when you fight the wither, as long as I'm, uh, before he gets to about le halfway level, you can use the bow. Like After this. that, it becomes ineffective. It doesn't do any damage at all, man. You can see he starts throwing Withered. skulls and withering me right away. Try to boot bounce that one back, but he dodged it. Him again. So I almost got him to halfway here. I gotta kill this guy. Oh no, I'm trying to figure something over here. Uh, where am I? I'm at spawn! No! I'm gonna lose all my stuff again. Cut back. We we're back at the wither here. We're gonna. I, I'm gung ho at this point. He's over halfway down. Uh, I find him over here. He's just blowing up, and I just I just say screw it, and I go ham on him. Got him here, almost got him. You can see it glitching out. Like that glitching out is going on as every time I bust something one back, it's awesome. Yeah, that glitching out happens almost every time he flies through it. It's like that. It's, it's freaking crazy. It's so dark room. Again, no vision, light vision motion here. I, I, I had not thought about that, but I think I it's 
pretty much where I did. I take him out. I'm, I'm all gung ho for it right here. See his life. I'm getting excited. He's almost down. I can't even see where we're going into. I'm still going into a charger like a madman. Hit him again. Hit him again. I finally get him and like the perpetual move that I am do I run away no I wait for my nether star right next to this guy and die once more by the wither all right so I've come back we're gonna retrieve my nether star see all the XP here kind of dark again I don't know how he killed me he blew up as I fell and I gave him the crown all right we're back and now that the uh, it's night times you can see I got to with another star here so now we can make a beacon as all this was for the beacon so we can now make it hooray all right and just to show you guys the uh, the massive hole of this freaking wither look at this thing It's it's this deep. Yeah, look at this hole. Look at this hole. Look at this thing. Look how deep he went down. Jeez. Anyway, let me show you what this is all was for here in this next clip. So much death, just just craziness and death. All right, guys. So you see, we got the beacon in the back. It's awesome. I was able to collect a bunch of stuff here. We got what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a little square thing here where we're gonna make HP labs. But let me show you something that happened while I was building this thing. This thing <laughs> freaking is not spawn proof. I died, of course. Just building that, I died. But uh, as you can see, I finished it all off. You can see I have a, it's two layers an inside layer and an outside layer. And you, it'll make more sense once I put up the walls. I'm going to use some white concrete powder for that. So, what I ended up doing is uh, I made a beacon in a faraway desert, more or less by our skeleton spawner. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to move this beacon to the skeleton spawner and we're going to. Hammer it out with a shovel. I've got an enchanted shovel. This guy fits 65 on it, which is a necessary must with a beacon. So let me go grab that beacon and we'll be right back in the next clip. Okay, so we're here to show you exactly what this beacon can do. I can hear an enderman right here somewhere though. Where the heck is he? There you go. All right, guys. As you can see here, we've been a little bit of an update on this map. You can sort of see it there. I mean, see if you can kind of see it right there a little bit closer. It's about the same either way. About the same. You can see the little tip right there. Uh, right there. You can remember, Curtis, is a little tip right there. A little brown speck, a little reddish spot. That's what we've been working on with our little beacon. As you can see, I got the beacons not shining through here anymore. I moved it from here to over here on this map. So we're gonna go over to the uh to the nether. We are a wonderful new little we, we, we got a little uh actual nether train tunnel thing going on here. I'm gonna work on the uh on this actual tunnel itself for either off camera or maybe perhaps in the next episode. But for today we're gonna just leave this the way it is incomplete just using a random track to had here to finish it off but once we get to this part we fly through it look at that okay and as you can see here after a little bit of time here we've been decimating the sand I'm gonna 
as we get closer to the beacon, you'll see it a little spotted, and you'll see exactly where we've been working on. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, should get close here. Ding! There goes our mining haste too, and it just decimated, <laughs> just completely decimated. And this was all in a matter of like an hour. Okay, so thanks for watching this episode of Burrito's Revenge. <laughs> uh, we had a lot of fun here today fighting that blasted wither that would cool up his butt after a while though he's murdered us a bunch of times too though so yeah anywho so I hope you guys enjoyed watching that watch this next episode where we're going to pretty much build Huey P Labs again we might rename it I'm, I'm not sure yet I haven't decided if we're going to rename it. We're going to just uh, play ball with it. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. We, we, we haven't really decided yet, but we will figure it out, okay? Because here, I'm really going to that's what we do. We figure things out. We figured out how to beat the wither. We got a beacon. We figured out how to use that thing. And we are on our way to... The end. That's correct. That's our next mission is to find the fortress and get to the end. So, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe, hit full on notifications. You want that little bell to ring it, ding it, ding it, ding it, ding Every time there is a new video. We'll see you next time. On Burritos Revenge. Ha 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 ha